Welcome to Technify.com. Today, we're going to explain Variable Frequency Drives (VFDs), also known as AC drives or inverters. We'll explore their functions, working principles, and practical applications, using a Delta VFD as an example to guide us through the connections, configuration, and experimentation process. Let's begin by understanding what VFDs do. A Variable Frequency Drive VFD, is an electronic device that controls the speed and torque of an AC induction motor. By varying the frequency and voltage of the AC power supplied to the motor, a VFD can precisely regulate the motor's rotational speed, enabling efficient and versatile operation. By altering these parameters, the VFD can ramp up or slow down the motor, offering precise speed control. Let's explore the key reasons why variable frequency drives VFDs, are widely used in various industrial and commercial applications. VFDs can significantly reduce energy consumption by matching the motor's speed to the exact requirements of the application. For instance, in a pump or fan application, a VFD can adjust the motor speed to match the flow rate requirements, avoiding unnecessary energy consumption when full flow is not needed. VFDs provide a controlled and gentle starting and stopping, minimizing mechanical stress on the motor and connected equipment, extending their lifespan. VFDs enable accurate speed control, catering to applications that demand consistent and variable speeds. VFDs can regulate torque, ensuring optimal performance and preventing overloading. VFDs adjust the speed of conveyor belts to match production rates and ensure smooth product flow. VFDs provide precise speed and torque control in various manufacturing processes, enhancing product quality and consistency. VFDs regulate the speed of fans and pumps in HVAC systems, optimizing energy consumption and maintaining comfortable indoor conditions. And VFDs control the speed of pumps and mixers in water treatment plants, ensuring optimal water flow and treatment efficiency. Let's explain the working principle of VFDs. The core of a VFD is its ability to manipulate the frequency and voltage of the AC power supplied to the motor. This involves a three-stage process. First is rectification. Incoming AC power is rectified into DC power using diodes or thyristors. This involves converting the alternating current, AC, into direct current, DC. Second is DC bus. The rectified DC power is stored in a DC bus capacitor, smoothing out any ripples and providing a stable DC voltage source. The DC bus is a large capacitor that acts as a temporary storage for the DC power that has been rectified from the AC input. Third stage is inverter. The DC power from the DC bus is converted back into AC power using pulse width modulation PWM, techniques. The inverter precisely controls the frequency and voltage of the output AC power. PWM is a technique used to generate an analog signal from a digital source. It works by rapidly switching a transistor on and off, creating a series of pulses that average out to the desired voltage level. The frequency of the pulses determines the frequency of the output AC power, and the average voltage of the pulses determines the voltage of the output AC power. This AC power is then supplied to the motor, where it interacts with the motor's magnetic fields to generate torque and rotation. The frequency of the AC power determines the speed of the motor, and the voltage of the AC power determines the torque of the motor. The speed of induction motor is directly proportional to the supply frequency and the torque is directly proportional to the square of the supply voltage. By varying the frequency and voltage of the AC power supplied to the motor, a VFD can precisely regulate the motor's speed and torque. This makes VFDs an ideal choice for applications that require variable speed control. Let's see the power and control connection of VFD with induction motor. First of all, check manufacturer catalog carefully, here we are using Delta VFD EL. See its catalog the power connection R, 3 phase supply applied to the R, S, and T, and output terminal of VFD U, V and W, are connected to the induction motor. Connect the VFD with induction motor following these instructions. Now we need to connect a selector switch to turn motor on and off, in both forward and reverse direction. See control connection in catalog. DCM is common, MI1 is for forward and MI2 is for reverse. Make connection by following these instructions. Test connection in both forward and reverse. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content.
If you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover in the future, leave a comment down below. See you in the next video, goodbye.